Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Steins Gate. Yeah, well, last time everything went nuts. They met someone, they thought they met us, we didn't. We hadn't met them before, but they tried to say we met them before. Uh, then they died, and now we found their body, and yeah, this is the kind of going nuts. Okay, well, let's get on with it. A man cries out in panic. At this, everyone else starts screaming and running away. I follow them, of course. There's no reason to stay here. Concern for Makis Akuris is superseded by my instinctive urge to flee. Oh, it's 7:20. It is not September 28th, but whatever. When I get back to the assembly hall, Maya is waiting for me with tears in her eyes. <laughs> Grab Maya's hand and run. Yep. I race down the stairs trying to drive the uh, image of Akuris's dead body from my mind, but I can't. Horrendous of her blood is burned into my mind, more than the sight of the body itself. That was my first time seeing a dead body. Is this what it's like? I realized that she, when I did realize that when she was dead, I felt chilling. I felt chilling terror and a surge of nausea. But that was all I felt, fear and disgust. Shouldn't there be something more? I guess I didn't, just didn't know her that well. Finally stop once we get out of, uh, get out to the main street, Chu Chuo Dori. My heart, my chest pounds, my breathing labored from running down the stairs at full speed. Mayuri doesn't seem to comprehend the situation. I guess it's because she didn't see the body. She's not even breathing hard. She looks slow, but she's actually pretty fast on her feet. I, took, I take several deep breaths. The color of that blood still stains my brain. But I've calmed down a bit. Akisa Kuris is dead, and I don't know who the killer is. Sounds in the distance. I guess an ambulance will be there soon. The police will arrive, and this area will become a crime scene. But for now, the crowds milling through Akihabara have no idea what happened. <laughs> Everyone is going about their business as usual, the never-ending search for electronics, moe, and porn. I like how they have to give you a definition for Moe. <laughs> anyway, just another day in Akihabara. Take my phone out of my pocket, perhaps out of reflex. Not sure what I plan to do with it. Oh, I know, my friend Daru. I'll tell him what happened just now since he knows about uh, Makise Kuris. I suppose it might be disrespectful to the victim, but my adrenaline's pumping and I can't make calm decisions after witnessing someone thing like that firsthand. That's how humans are, after all. We're not special as we like to believe. At the end of the day, we're nothing but dirty, slime like flesh. Our souls fester like semen left to rot in the womb. That's how we humans are. While wallowing in a bit of angst, I begin to type on my phone. Wow. That was a lot of types. It didn't sound like you could. it was typing out that much. Anyway, it sounded like it would type more than that, rather. Someone stabbed Makis at Kuris. Don't know who. Look bad. Hope she's okay. I don't know if she was stabbed. Just seemed like the most logical explanation, given the amount of blood and the absence of a gunshot. Even On the other hand, I didn't write that she was dead, even though I'm pretty sure she was. I can't exactly explain why I didn't. If I had to say, I guess I felt like writing it down would set it in stone. It might make me feel guilty as well. The thought brings a smirk to my face. It's not like I'm the one who killed her. Why should I feel guilty? Just saw someone's death up close, and only a few minutes later I'm smiling. Am I really that cruel and cold? Well, I am a fiendish mad scientist, so it suits me. Finish typing and place my thumb over the send button. And then... I press down. Sending... Whoa, what the... Whoa, that was crazy. What was that? Yep, that's my thought exactly. Wait, look around. Summer break, noon. The busiest street in town. Just now, thousands of pedestrians vanished into thin air. Is it a dream? Am I hallucinating? I don't know. But they're gone. 
I saw them vanish with my own two eyes. I stand, petrified, speechless, and alone on the empty street. Desperate to find someone, anyone, I look up. And there, at the top of Radio Kaikon, sticking out from the eighth floor vent fall where we just were. Uh, oh. Wait, that's different. A crashed satellite. <laughs> that's different. 5 PB and Nitro Flux. Whoa, what the? Oh, wow. Oh, this is the same thing that was at the beginning of the game. It's just all over the screen now. Behind this gate. of the beginning and the end. Okay, then. Okay, well, that was a good opening song. I liked that. Oi. So gono kisama. Ore tachi ga miyete iru ka? What the? Everything just changed. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Go with it. Nanze nani mo kotae nai. Kisama ni kiite iru nda zo. Monitor no sochi ga ni iru. Oh, okay. Okay then. Hello, Okabe. What the? I just answered. What the? I just answered. What the? I just answered. What the heck are you talking about? I, I doubt that, but whatever. <laughs>俺たちのことについて説明してやろうではないか。まず、俺たちがいるのはどこかということだ。ここは東京、秋葉原にある未来ガジェット研究所だ。俺たちは普段ラボと呼んでいる。世界の支配構造を作り変えるという我が野望の
今どき旧式のブラウン管テレビだけを扱っているショップだいかに電気街である秋葉原というのも需要があるとは思えないさびれた店なのだ<笑> OK だがブラウン管工房店長である天王寺というおっさんはこのビルのオーナーでもある OK then ゆえに今野球ピッチで都市開発が進みしかも高騰しているこの秋葉原であろうと道楽丸出しの店を構えていられるというわけだ最後にあの店長は人を見る目はあるようでなこの俺のカリスマ性を見抜きビル2階を丸々ワンフロアただ同然で貸してくれたのだふわっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはっはラボメンすなわちラボラトリーメンバーは俺を含めて3人であるラボメンナンバー001ラボ創設者にして狂気のマッドサイエンティストであるこの俺ホーイキョーマ He has three digits there. Does he ever expect to get more than a hundred people? オカリンって呼び方の方が可愛いのに<笑><笑>そしてコスプレがしみの高一点ラボメンナンバー002シーナマユリてってるーマユシーです着るんじゃなくて作るのが趣味だよ最後にスーパーハカーラボメンナンバー003橋田イタルだスーパーハカーって呼ぶなよスーパーハッカーだろジョーコー There's such a small difference it's hard to notice そんな我々三人で構成される未来ガジェット研究所の活動内容はそのものズバリ発明である詳細は我がラボのホームページを見てくれ<笑>もちろん闇の支配権力と戦うための未来ガジェットが最優先事項だがその研究から派生する副産物的な発明も多いというか今のところはそっちばかりだ<笑>すでに我々は8つの未来ガジェットを完成させた。だが、これはまだ上昇でしかない。未来ガジェットのアイディアは、俺の中に108まであるのだ。So total of... so you want 100 more? おテニス漫画みたいにですね。わかります。<笑> What the heck? 人の煩悩の数といえ、このアットチャンネルの名。それだ。俺が話しているのだから口出しをするなと言っているだろう。<笑>そもそもオカリン、さっきからなんで独り言しゃべってんの<笑> ?Get wrecked。独り言ではない。見てわからないのか。俺は今、モニターの向こうにいるこいつに話しかけているのだ。Apparently he's talking to us guys, but he can't hear us. あ、今その人、ニヤリって笑った。Wow, you're good. You, you somehow know. Oh, no, Rick, Sama! Nanyo, what a tear to the car! Monitor Nakano Sonzenok Senik! I can walk away from this monitor and I still exist. Kochi Minna, the Tiareba? Susie Nanja Naikono. Or the Tini Hanashka Kerate Yukotoni Sura Kizui Tay Naira Shina. Jikakuga Naito Yunoa. Jitsi Nifkona Kotoda. その人にしてみたらマユシーたちがゲームみたいに見えてるのかなフォースウォーブレイクエッジこいつには現実なのかゲームなのかっていう発想さえないんじゃねフォースウォーブレイクエッジダルコの大好きな二次元の女の子たちもそうなのフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ<laughs> ah, man. でもさ、マユシの言ったことって興味深いテーマじゃんもし仮に僕たちがゲームの中の住人だとしたら、それを見極めるすべはあると思う Hmm, that is a good question. Considering you are in a game. 
即答かよ故にそのような議論は不毛世界の支配構造を打ち砕く方法について考える方がよほどいい、oh, like、中二病を打つ<笑>なぜ、nice. そんなこと言うのマネタ What the <laughs> What is that? Displayed on the screen is the ugly cute character Alpaca Man. And this, this is the game called Alpaca Man, when you, where you speak to the Alpaca Man via the microphone and watch him react. Oh. He wasn't talking to us, guys. He was talking to a weird character. The game exploded in popularity when it was released 10 years ago, but personally, I find the only ugly part of it. Like the ugly part of it. Me. I bought it used, yesterday, 500 yes, yen used, h e a d s e t included. The d a r was a menacing glare. d a m a r e Super h a k a <laughs> I think you are, Chunibyo. Put my hair back and flash a devilish grin. <laughs> oh man. We're so l o s e Yeah, it is. 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 <laughs> yes. This fat, bespectacled guy is my brother in arms and right hand man, Hashida Itaru, named Daru. He's a hardcore otaku, you can always find him in front of the computer playing games and watching anime. His two wives on him, he cheats with 3D maids. I don't agree with his preferences, but I'm anything's fine as long as he's away. He's a reliable and skilled partner who brings my ideas to fruition. Despite his instance, Software is his forte. forte. He shows remarkable aptitude with hardware as well. Ah, Honey, you've been in the sata. Or are they nursing a brick finger? We have Sheena Myri, a 16 year old high school student. Whoa, what the heck did I just do? Um, I've known her since we were both small. Oh, what the? I didn't know it. I don't know how I did that, but that's awesome. She's also an otaku. Nowhere near Daru's level, though. The Z girl is in charge of the lab's official costume division. T I think I figured out how to do that. And today she's working on costumes as her usual, at her usual leisure pace. Why does the future gadget. the laboratory need the costumes for when? It doesn't. The truth is that Myri is completely useless. No, there's no way I could ever kick her out. After all, she's the first one to join the future gadget laboratory. I don't remember the day Mayuri first came to the lab in the spring, she said to me. And fine. That's weird. <laughs> well, that certainly was cryptic. But her offer, her offer was my salvation. Her, she was the first one to join me on my magnificent quest. She saved me from a solitary life on the run from the organization. But I will never forget the kindness. Harry doesn't have to be useful. Being here is enough. でオカリンアルパカマンは反応したんいや全然。Human face told back and said the monitor was no one response of you think but never I give up never gonna let play this boring game この不愛想アルパカメが。Here's his name in Mac TV as soon as I do TV makes it sound like it's shorted and the screen just blank change the channel nothing power cable nothing Crack it again, nothing. This is broken, damn. This crummy TV is on lease from the brown to workshop downstairs. Probably just old. <laughs> Turn off the TV and lie down on the couch. Fed up with the humidity of Japanese summers, I stare at a conspicuous stain on the ceiling while fanning myself. Close my eyes. Naturally comes to mind. Possible scene an hour ago. As I left Radio Kaikon, everyone vanished before my eyes. I can't explain it. Okay, so that was just an hour ago, but everything seemed normal. And it was, wasn't was just the people on the street. The people in stores gone, restaurants gone, he, cars vanished, and drivers and all. It all happened in the blink of an eye. In an empty city. I could still hear the music from the stores, but those catchy melodies were the only sound of life remaining. He was rising from the asphalt and waves, but I only felt. I just stood there, breathless until. Harry's voice brought me back to reality. 
I already hadn't disappeared. She was right there, looking at me with questioning eyes. Panic took hold as the enormity of what just happened struck me. Unable to control myself, I grabbed my ear hit by her slender shoulder and shook her. Mayuri's head flopped back and forth from my shaping. I'm shaking her look to straight in the eyes. Turn my gaze with the eyes of Mayuri's glass. ここにはたくさんの人たちが歩いていたんだぞ。歩いてたかな。それに店員まで消えている。こんなことはいくら何でもありえない。それは仕方ないと思うよ。Why Okay, who's the crazy one here? <laughs> what the? How could she laugh at a time like this? I always thought she was a bit strange, but maybe her brain is actually broken. I realized that she couldn't help me. No way else to turn and look at the bright blue sky. Out of in sight, the storming, scorching storm was coming straight through the gaps between Akiva's buildings. Naturally, my eyes drifted to the top floor of Radio Kaiko, where I had been just a moment before. And that thing had crashed somehow. There it was, an enormous machine, like some kind of satellite, embedded in the roof of the building where not five minutes before I had found Makizikuri's body in a pool of blood. It happened to her. Before everyone disappeared, I could have sworn I heard an ambulance siren. Makizikuri might still be in that dark room, very cold, bloody, and alone. It was to disturb me, but the question of the whole thing. Soma Soma. Ano Jinko Ezewa. Itai Nanda. Right before Dr. Nakabachi's presentation, the building shook like a bomb in Roof like the roof door lock had been broken. Behind it, place a satellite like machine. Last. First I saw it, the satellite was on the top. But that's not what I was seeing now. The light penetrated the top floor of the building, obliterating the room where Dr. Nakabachi's press conference was. Fallen out of one of the somehow. It was crazy, but what other explanation is there? The question was, when did that happen? Why did he? あの人工衛星だが。ああ、びっくりしたね。びっくりしたと。ドカーンってすっごい音がしたもん。A huge kaplow. <laughs> Certainly did make a sound, but I don't think it was a plow. It was more like a zin. あの人工衛星は落ちてきたのか。来たのかな。had I lost my mind? What I had seen didn't match at all with what my ear is saying. Only nothing seemed real. Had I dreamt at all? Just then a uniformed policeman ran up to us as expression. カリニアナタを警官へと名付けるが、一つ聞きたいことがあるんです。警官へって。今ここで数千人の通行人が一瞬で消えたんです。あなたも見ましたよね。見ていない。いいから早く出て行け。オフィスレイ。I how could he say that with such certainty? I was still trying to comprehend the situation. What the uh, forcefully out of the way. We were exported to UPX and released. There were people at UPX, like usual. Actually, there were far more people than usual. This was packed. Just as Officer A said, Shuo Dori had been blockaded by police, so to protect her. To do so, we head back to the lab. And that brings us to the present. Baffled. The whole hour since the beginning of Nakabachi's presentation really happen? Check online for any news. That's buzzing about the mysterious machine that crashed into Radio Kaiko. All of the major t uh, TV stations in Tokyo, even TOE TV, are running special bulletins on this. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's but Chuo Dori is still closed off. The fire station is jammed. 
mention anything about these thousands of people from Market Streets, nor about Market Zikaris as well. All a mystery. Mystery. So so you got a So if I spring to my feet a wide grin on my face. Daru and Mayuri これも全て機関の隠蔽工作ということだな。警察にすら圧力をかけられるということはこの国の中枢ももはや奴らの手の内にあるということ。なんということだ。あったはく。おかべ。俺の目はごまかせんぞ。いつかかなるぜ。奴